got that made up like that. The next thing to do, after putting all your effort into making sure that the bulk lines up and that you've got a nice straight loop, is something I learned off a good friend of mine, Des, is to put a staple and not just put it onto the loop. Because what that will do is make this loop bend and when you take it off, the loop will be kinked like so. And when you attach a hook length, it's not going to line up straight. So again, another little simple thing, but it's all them little things that add up that makes the difference at the end of the day. So just by bending the staple, just so you create like that, and all you do is attach a hook clamp to the skinny bit and the bit that's sticking out. So you just oh, place it on like so. And then in the hook retaining slot, just pop the staple in. And again, taking your time to make sure. Now, the next important thing is again moving the float into position where it can't get damaged. Again, don't want to just pull it, remember, wet it always. Wetting it gently, just slide it down nice and slowly. Needs to slide a little bit more. And then popping it onto your winder. And it's in, as you can see. And now, all you need to do is how many turns round the winder you'd like. Being a 0.6, I normally do eight to 10 turns. 0 0.1, 0 0.2, probably only five or six turns. But one word of warning, you made a perfect rig. The last thing you want to do is take it out and not have enough line. So you're always better off doing one or two turns more. Remembering when you discard the line to discard it safely. So you go once, 10. Now, just cut off the line. And now it's time to make your loop to finish the rig off. What I don't use is pole anchors. I use a rig, remake it. I do not use a rig twice. At the end of the day, it's taken me a couple of minutes and that's talking as well. When you're at home and everything's set out right, you will literally rattle off hundreds in minutes. So all you do is by pinning it with your finger. Now it's important to tie the loop to where it's going to attach here not to the edge, you want it under tension. Not so that you're pulling it and not so that it's loose, just tension. So now all I do is just, again, tying the same knot that this one would tie, but just with my finger. Three times round, pop it through the loop. Remembering to wet it, pull it tight. All that's left to do is trim the tag end off, placing it over just under a little bit of tension. And then all I do now is again, you've taken your time doing it, and at the end of the day, you want it to look right, and you want it to be nice, you don't want messy. So all I do is gently with my finger, just slide the line over to the edge, giving the float plenty of space in the middle. You won't damage your line by this, <coughs> so don't worry about it. And then all I do is just slide the float up to so that it fits on nicely. And again, just wetting and holding the line where it joins the bottom and just gently moving it up. And there you have it, a finished rig. It's taken me a few, obviously quite a lot longer to tie it, but at home, two or three minutes and you tie each rig, making sure that it's done right. It's, there is no reason why anybody shouldn't be prepared and I hope that I've shown you a quick and easy way to tie a rig and it will give you confidence that knowing that your rig is the best on the bank.